guys, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larissa. I am Andrew, and <laughs> why'd your voice crack? Like I that? don't know. I? I am Larissa, and and I'm Andrew. Um, and today we're trying a new plant-based hot dog. I wasn't gonna give you the name, but I, I'm starting to realize it's kind of right here. <laughs> it's probably really obvious, and you've probably seen the thumbnail. So and read the title. And read the title. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now that you know the name, should I say it? I'm yep. not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna act like you have no idea. Nathan's hot dogs. It's, it's, it's right here, as she pointed out. <laughs> um, so we're trying Nathan's hot dogs, and um, I'm really excited about it. Are you? Plant-based hot dogs. Uh, yes. Be very specific. <laughs> Sorry. That, that's, that's. She's actually right. Plant-based <laughs> hot dogs. Believe it or not, Nathan has plant-based hot dogs as of when? About three or four weeks ago. <laughs> as of a few weeks ago. So we're gonna be trying Nathan's plant-based hot dogs. And if you don't know who Nathan's is, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say you've been living under a rock because or Nathan's- Or not in the US. <laughs> or not in the US. Um, Cause Nathan's is the hot dog of all hot dogs. I mean, it's like everywhere. Yeah, I think it started in like Coney Island. I, I don't know the history, honestly. I, I feel like it started in like Coney Island, New York as like the hot dog served there. And then it's pretty much the oh, hot like dog. A, like a food truck hot dog kind of thing? I, I don't, well, food trucks weren't around when they came out, I don't think <laughs> that was No, the but they had the little like carts. Again, I don't know how long they've been out, but yeah. I, I've known them forever, you know? Like, do they have, do they have like a date? 1916. Okay, so I, maybe they had like a little cart, like, you know, the little carts that you have like outside? And then, and then maybe it was something they like, like that. Lifted it up, and you got your hot dog out. Maybe I don't. I don't really know. Maybe maybe you could share that, Nathan's, when you see the video. <laughs> but ultimately, I know that I've been to a ball game or two in my life, and that is where I've received the Nathan's hot dog. I, I assume that I've had one, but like it's not like coming to the top of my mind that like I had one. But I've been to games, so I'm assuming I had one. I've never been to Coney Island, though. I don't think you said you hadn't. I hadn't what, been to Coney been Island? To, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, so I've, I've, I've been- You've it, been there, you don't know if you've ever had the hot dog. There. Exactly. Okay. So- My, You got a little offended there. It looked like-, like I did, I'm from yeah. Brooklyn, I mean, like, I got I've offended. definitely been to Coney yeah, Island. Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Are you trying to say like, what? I guess you could be anywhere in New York, right? Like, <laughs> New York isn't small, so. Okay, let's talk about how this whole thing came about. So we saw an article, actually an Instagram post on Veg News um, that announced, well, I'm knocking them over, that announced that Nathan's was launching a plant-based hot dog. Um, the post in there said that, and then we do taste tests, so of course we wanted to taste test this. Yep. And we already had hot dog taste tests coming up. That's right. So that's how that whole thing so started. So stay tuned for the hot dog <laughs> the taste dog test dog. that she kind of just threw in there. Yes. Um, so the issue though was, is that the buns, it was a package. So it was mustard, these plant-based hot dogs, and then a pack of buns, hot dog buns. But the problem was, is that the buns contained milk. Uh -huh. And so we didn't want to purchase the whole thing. So first let's start by, this isn't first cause we've said a whole bunch of stuff by now, but <laughs> First from here, <laughs> shout out to whoever I have been talking to for the Nathan social media team because I have asked 150,000 questions to clarify if we could get these um, and not buy the package, just the hot dogs. Um, there wasn't an option at the time, but there is an option now. So we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Um, we might have just created that option, <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. Um, so there is an option to buy them now, but there wasn't. So Nathan generously shipped them, even though we offered to pay. Um, but again, this is gonna be completely a normal video. All thoughts and opinions are our own. Right. And we are going to keep it real. We were very specific with the team that we were not holding anything back. Not holding back. Um, so we are excited to try these. And um, that's kind of how the whole thing came about. Um, they've only been around for a few weeks now, and now you can purchase them by their self. We are going to cook this two different ways. They sent instructions, so we are going to follow the instructions because that's what we do here, and which suggests cooking them inside of a skillet. Uh -huh. But it is May. It is about to be grilling season. Yes, it is. If you don't grill all year like we do, but for most people, <laughs> it is grilling season. So we are also going to throw one on the grill just to see what happens. Hopefully we do not ruin it. But. It's, it's gonna like fall through the grill. All right, what do you wanna do now? Let's cook these up. All right, let's get into the taste test. Okay, let's just quickly, we, we've cooked them, um, one on the skillet, one in a grill. 
on a grill. I said on the grill. Yeah, completely messed that up. Nice. On cool. a skillet and in a grill. <laughs> okay. We did just want to talk about how they look like before they're being cooked. I mean, it just seems to me like a normal hot dog. Like it's flimsy. It's not like it doesn't hold up. Um, if that makes sense, does that make sense? It's flimsy and it doesn't hold up. Is no, that what like you it said? doesn't like melt apart, but like I'm saying, like it's it's soft. It reminds you of a hot dog? Yes. Like the traditional hot dog? Yes. Okay, I agree there. It does remind me of the traditional hot dog. Yeah. It's I, a, it is a little slimy, um, which I don't remember, but I also don't know that I've ever like... It's weird because we didn't analyze food the same way before. <laughs> right. Now. So yeah. I, I completely get that. And then to me, the smell is slightly off what I remember tasting, but I also never smelled a hot dog before being cooked <laughs> before, but I don't know. I mean, it's not it's not something that would, uh, honestly, the smell know. that I feel like most plant-based meat substitutes are, to be honest with you. Like, that's the smell that I get from that. Okay, and then just like to look at this, like the inside texture-wise. Um, I'm gonna try to record it with my phone and maybe I'll overlay it for you guys to see. Yeah, but so to me, like... I'll do it this way so you get like a, a close view of what it is that we're looking <laughs> at here. So to me, a lot of like plant-based meats have like just, when you cut it, it's just like a very clean line. Whereas like traditional meat has like some ruggedness to it. Okay. So this to me is like consistent with what other plant-based meat substitutes look like when you cut it. Yeah. Um, Just a slab. Yeah, okay. we are using our own buns. Um, <laughs> this just sounds so funny. I'm so childish. <laughs> I was gonna say it. I thought that was usually me. Like, it is usually you. Kind of all over with it. Um, Do you want me to put ketchup on this? Just a little bit, because I'm gonna use the mustard too. Okay. If you guys have been following us for a long time, you know how picky he is. He also doesn't eat mustard, so learning something new today about Andrew. Um, what was, oh, I didn't mention in the intro part that this is a collaboration that Nathan's had with Meatless Farms, which we actually haven't tried, I don't think any of their products. I saw them in Whole Foods one time, but we hadn't tried it yet. Okay. Um, so it's like their proprietary hot dog blend with Nathan's seasoning, from my understanding. Hmm. Um, so that's interesting. So Nathan's consulted some plant-based professionals or Meatless Farms was really, really smart and said, you know what, we're not just gonna release our own hot dog. <laughs> we're gonna go to like the most <laughs> iconic hot dog brand and be like, hey, let us use your spice blend yeah. <laughs> for these hot dogs. All right, so which one is the skillet one and which one is the grilled one? Um, so skillet one is here. So this grilled side. is here. Yep. All right, I wanna try the skillet one first simply because that's how they recommended. Wow cooking it and just came right out. Be careful when you're shooting the thing out. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, let's go. The texture is not very soft. Like this seems soft, but like biting down on it reminded me of Okay, so vegans make carrot hot dogs a lot. Yes. Yep. And the texture yep. of this is like the carrot is almost all the way cooked, but it's not quite there yet. You need yeah. about ten to fifteen more minutes. Yeah. Do you agree there? No, completely. I was I was literally thinking the same thing. That the uh, this hot dog is a little after being cooked, that is, because initially when feeling on it, and we didn't bite the hot dog. In it's in that form but after being cooked it's it seems a little firmer than than you would you would think like usually i feel like most of the plant-based products are pro probably softer than yeah, extra what, soft. yeah than that maybe even a traditional thing but i don't even remember a traditional hot dog this way yeah and so this is the directions that they sent us um and it says to cook it until 155 so we have a thermometer that we inserted it was about four to five minutes did you say four to five or five to six you cooked um, the skillet one. Yeah, 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 it was about five or six. Okay, and then the grilled one took about four and a half minutes to get to that temperature. So, all right, let's try this one and see if maybe the grill was better. But before we move on, honestly, 
I do like the seasoning on this. Like the flavor of it to yes. me is amazing. Yeah, I would like, agree. This there. is a this is a really good flavor on the hot dog. It's a the, the only thing again for us or for me also like on slightly downside is I I don't like it as firm. I would have liked it a bit softer. Yes. All right, so let's let's go ahead and go into that next one you said. Hmm. It's the same thing. We didn't expect much of a difference, right? More of the grilling was just to, excuse me, because I'm talking my mouth on. I tell my kids not to do that all the time. <laughs> um, but the expectation was just to see how it holds up on the grill. Not that it would completely change its outcome. So just seeing how like it, you know, it didn't fall through. It didn't like melt on top of the <laughs> the grill, anything <laughs> like that. So yeah. that that was why, yeah. No, the um, so. Overall, like, where do, you, where do you rate this? Like, I get that it's a bit firmer than you like. I'm, I'm on the same train. Yeah. But texture, flavor, like, where, where are you with that? Um, the flavor is really good. The texture is, like, just throwing me completely off. I don't know that I would continue to purchase this if it was available in the store versus the other ones that we think we like. Flavor of this hot dog, I would say, is roughly about an eight. On a scale of one to 10, that is. So I think the flavor is really good. I do want to say like, I've, I've tried some other vegan hot dogs that I'm I'm, I'm more apt to that flavor. I'm, I, I like those a little bit more, but overall for flavor, just rating them against, you know, a couple others, like this, this hot dog is up there. Yeah. The initial bite is just so firm, but after you take that very firm, let me cut my teeth through the hot dog, after that, to me, it's it's actually, it, I don't mind it at all. Like it doesn't have the same amount of bounce, in a sense, as I'm as I'm eating it. Maybe we're just used to a softer hot dog at this time. Like again, I don't remember what traditional hot dogs were like myself, but I don't it also don't this. I also don't think it was this either. Yeah. But. I think we're also used to a softer hot dog just for vegan hot dogs. I don't know if they compare in terms of texture to others. Would you buy this not knowing the price if you thought the price was a good price? I would want to say like out of all the vegan hot dogs that I feel like I've tried, which is probably a good four or five right. um, vegan hot dogs, this is probably like the, this is right below a top hot dog for me. So let's get into the price. Okay. Okay. So um, it so the initial package that they came out with mm -hmm. was six hot dogs, six buns that were not vegan, and then a container of mustard. Okay. There was no other way to buy them. Okay. That was forty five dollars. Ouch. So when you that so that's nine dollars per hot dog in a bun. But will you get mustard too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the thought is is that you have to split the price with the mustard, right? Yeah, I, okay. do, I do get that. All right. But now, in between us talking this poor person's on social media's head off 953 messages, uh -huh. you can now buy just the plant-based hot dogs. Nice. Um, and it comes in a 12-pack and it is $40. For the 12 pack? Yes. So, okay. So that breaks down to $3.33 per hot dog. Just a hot dog. Yeah. Just to clarify, non-vegan Nathan's hot dogs are about $4 a pack of eight. Okay. So, one <laughs> or so pack. I don't yeah. like vegan tax. I, I don't either, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of that myself either. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's quite up there in terms of being pricey. All right, so let's you know wrap this up. So okay. all of our videos are 900 minutes long. Sorry, but I, <laughs> I, I don't know. We try. Um, so <laughs> let's wrap it up, and you let's you go over the pros, and then I'll do the cons. Somehow I always get stuck with the cons. You want me to do the cons? No, it's okay. Go with the pros. Um, well, I was gonna say just FYI, we're gonna be looking down here because we wrote a few of them down. Yeah, it's on our phone. Um, but so pro number one, um, it, it has good taste and good flavor. It, to me, again, in comparison to the hot dogs I have tasted, 
Um, this this does sit right behind one of the top ones for me. Yeah. I mean, the fact that they've made a vegan Nathan's hot dog. Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, because that that is a traditional taste that a lot of people are probably used to and probably miss from having hot dogs, right? Yeah. It is top eight free. But I think it has, did you? Did we see pea protein? Yeah, so the base um, of it is pea protein. It also has sunflower in it if yep. you're allergic to that. But as far as top eight allergens, um, it is gluten and soy free. Which, which is, is awesome. Usually what is in uh, vegan hot dogs, yeah. but it's free from those. So that's amazing. Yeah. Um, we will have a blog post that goes along with this that lists the ingredients and has the nutrition label. So um, look for that in the description box. And Which I also think is something to be considerate about when you think about the price of yep. the hot dog because you this is free of the top eight allergens, so it right. is available for a surplus of people that other hot dogs aren't available to. Yeah, absolutely. Lastly, you know, this this can be sent to your house. I don't, I don't even think my favorite current <laughs> vegan hot dog can be sent to my house. Um, I have to go buy it in the store, which isn't a big deal, but ultimately that's definitely a plus. Yeah. Um, as far as the cons go, uh, we both said that the texture is too firm. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the price is a turnoff for a majority of people. Um, and then it, it, depending on how you look at it, it is kind of a con that you can only buy it online. Yeah, um, true. You know, obviously it's nice it's sent to your house, but if you wanted to run to the store and grab a package of it, you can't do that. So that's why we're gotta, saying that. Gotta plan a ahead, yeah. Um, and then we did just want to talk about how it is sent. Um, this is literally how it came. There is no label. There's no nutrition label. Um, there is nothing that says that it is Nathan's or anything else. Obviously, they probably are working on that, um, but it is super new, so that was just kind of odd. Um, they are sending us a nutrition label, potentially, maybe it's in the conversation with this person that I've been talking to. So if we get that, it will be inside of the blog post. Um, and then uh, it will be um, inside of Nathan's restaurants. So in places like, you know, I think like the Jersey Shore and Coney Island, and I think they have some in yeah. Florida, yep. um, places like that, if there's a Nathan's, that they will have them. Um, the downside to that is from our understanding with talking to this poor soul on social media, is that they will still only have the buns that were available in the kit. So they will not be vegan buns. So Nathan's. Yeah. If you are watching this, mm -hmm. you need to have vegan buns because vegans would like to be able to go to Coney Island and have a hot dog on a bun. Yeah, Not no, just it's holding it, it on a stick. Yeah, pretty much. That's <laughs> just gonna be very weird, especially it's, it's it's not a corn dog, so no. Um, let's not do that. But gotta gotta switch yeah. that up, Nathan's. We are doing a full vegan hot dog taste test. Yep. We will be including the rest of our. Oh, I almost dropped them out the rest of the Nathan's hot dogs inside of that video later this week. So stay tuned for that. All right. Anything else? I, honestly, I don't think so. I'm, yeah, I'm excited for the hot dog taste test to kind of see where that stacks up after we have a few of them in the line. Yeah, it, it's always funny because sometimes like what we think is our number one is not our number one when we're comparing them side by side. True. So it will be interesting to see where this one lands. Yeah. Nathan's may rise to the top, you don't know. It you, would be weird. Like, you might like here, that like snappy this. texture. <laughs> you might be like, oh, wait. Wait, I actually do like, like this. this. Right. All right. We have talked enough inside of this video. Yep. So stay tuned for that video. Leave a comment below if you have tried these or if you want to try them, um, what your thoughts are there. And we will see you guys on the next video. Believe in good. Peace.